Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Place Final Fantasy for the After Years. Today, we're finishing up the Lunarian's Tale. But first, we gotta actually get to the bottom of the Luna Subterranean. And we get a lot of side paths to do. Uh, for the most part, random encounters are pretty much dealt with. We, Yeah, we don't have that many additional enemies to discover. I think... Uh, ghost Knight? Have we run into a Ghost Knight yet? I don't think we have. Got a luminous robe. Uh, you should give that to Fusoya just to help his defense because he really needs it. He doesn't have the best. Though I'll likely be giving that back to uh, Golbez in the future. There's nothing up here. Yeah, there is nothing up here. But I felt the need to show you anyways for some reason. And over here is on the way to the old Ragnarok treasure that's not here anymore. Man, break just does not work anymore, now does it? It had a 100% hit rate in, like, the Final Fantasy IV DS. It had a fairly good hit rate in the original, too, at least on the Mad Ogres, because they don't have that much magic evasion. Well, okay, they have a lot of magic defense and a magic evasion. Well, decent magic evasion. But, for some reason, Fusoya cannot hit break on the enemies. There's a Soma drop. Now, up here is going to be another save point. Don't know why I felt like pausing during that teleportation. So there's a save point if you need it. And for some reason, I just... I don't know why, but I want to come out here and be like, Look, this is where a legendary weapon used to be. It's not here anymore. Because... Reasons. Where the hell did they even put those weapons back in the day? It's like they came back from the moon and they're just like, Yeah, we got these really powerful weapons. Let's melt them down. Alright, after that random battle, I figured I'd meet you guys back here and instantly get into another random encounter. For no other reason than... <sighs> Did I not get this treasure on the way... Wow. <sighs> I get distracted when I was talking about melting down that sword. Because I don't get why, like, sequels to RPGs do that if there's, like, a returning character. Suikoden does it a lot, too. Uh... Golbez might die here. That, uh, that one in the back, I don't know its name, I've, is actually a new encounter, I forgot about her. But she's dead now anyways. Well, I guess that's not too big of a problem then. Just cast break on her, instant death all the way. Yeah, I ran into a mad ogre before, so I figured... Well, I didn't figure, I accidentally had it set to auto battle. What? Well, I didn't accidentally, it's just... It's kind of how you do random encounters in this game, is you find a good auto battle and you do it. And if you run to an enemy that doesn't match up to your auto battle, well, you just undo auto battle. Oh, there's another crystal breaking. For some reason, I want to start singing a tap song, or trap song here. Was it like headstrong? I don't know. Shit, I can't think of the lyrics. Uh, I'm not much of a music person. Which is probably a good thing, because it limits the amount of songs I can sing during my Let's Plays. Now I can hum with the best of them, of course. Now, and here is the save point that we had earlier. And the very long ass room for no goddamn reason. Yeah. Ooh. I don't know why the room's so goddamn big. Anyways, use a tent if you want to. I might. And you know what? That's not a bad idea. Let's use a... A tent. Alright, I used three tents and made it a full moon. I figured I'd get it back on buffed up black magic as opposed to negative. I'm really starting to hate mad hookers. <laughs> oh well, and here... Nothing! This is actually where we found the, uh, Holy Lance. Or is it the Dragoon? I think it was the Holy Lance. For, uh, Kane in the original Final Fantasy IV. What about in here? Nothing but the Mad Ogres. Dry Aether. And a Remedy. I really like those two items. They're very expensive. <laughs> and we don't get the option to actually get them regularly. Well, until the very end. Yeah, it would have been nice if those two chests were the ribbons like they were in the Final Fantasy. 
Hey, Ghost Knights. We were just talking about these guys, weren't we? Eh, probably not, but... I think I said we may or may not have actually encountered them earlier. They're weak to fire. They're undead. If you cast a spell on them and it doesn't kill them, they will cast Reflect on themselves and you will be like, God damn it, now I need to put a proper sword onto Gobez. But obviously that's not the case. Well, level 39. Your stats suck, Fusoya. But you might as well heal us. Really good levels. You probably noticed that Golbez has certainly outleveled all the other tails, except for uh, Theodore's tail. Not Theodore's tail. Kane's tail. Every other tail is uh, locked. Well, not locked, but they generally get up to like mid twenties before stopping. Kane's tail was about thirty. So yeah, you should probably tell, yeah, like I was saying, the level caps on the other tails in this one, they don't, they don't actually have, like, level caps. And we got a Chimera. Actually, we're stuck on Bio. The enemies did switch up here, and I completely forgot about it for some reason. But the Chimeras should be non-issues. They would, they'll absorb all the elemental uh, magic attacks if, level 40, lovely, if you use it on them. If you don't, then you're good. I usually stick to bio for random encounters, mostly because it's non-elemental and it's just... You don't run the risk of enemies absorbing it. It's one of those lazy player strategies because you don't have to think about an enemy's weakness if you can kill it with a non-elemental spell. Bio. Bio's a really strong ability for 20... That's a new one. Uh, well, not the Dark Knights. We fought the Dark Knights before. The guy in the back... Fell Knight. I don't think we've ever run into those. The thing is, um... This is the first time we've actually seen a Fell Knight. Leech. I guess he does that when you cast magic on him? I don't know. I've actually never seen that ability before. That's weird. I've had to have fought that guy before. Maybe I just never noticed it. Or maybe I used Golbez as a melee in the past. Only four more crystals to go. But then what happens? It's a weird cracking animation, isn't it? I have a feeling that probably looked better on handheld. That happens a lot with these games, like, the models look generally better on mobile because they're lower resolution. Like the Final Fantasy IV DS, to bring that up again. Models look great on DS. Eh, they're kind of iffy on the P PC. It was because you're so zoomed in. You Tiny see minute blemishes. Still really good, though. Can I just say it's really hot where I live right now? Oh, good lord. It was like 95 out earlier. I really need to do yard work because my yard is a mess right now. I haven't been feeling good the last few days. I think I might have brought that up earlier. That's the reason why there wasn't any videos yesterday. And my voice kind of sounds all scraggly. But, um... Yeah, it's just been too hot to do anything. I guess that's kind of good. Generally, I'm not around until, like, the night anyways. Hey, we fought those guys before, but I'm pretty sure they're dead, and the blood eye in the background is going to be Ted too after Fusoya. Yeah, we fought those guys in, uh, like Death Flames or Fell Flames in, I want to say, Torum's Tale. That seems about right. Crystal, could you hurry up and break yourself, please? We're in a bit of a rush. We're not in a rush, but come on now. Hurry up. Oh, we're getting toward the end of the core. Now, you could start, like, I don't know, saving MP, but that's not really necessary. Actually, I don't think that's necessary at all. 
Alright, just more of the same old same old enemies. There's the last save point of the tale. And that's not the stairs. It would have been nice if I could jump down and be like, screw this whole walking down stairs nonsense. I'm jumping. Use the save point if you want. I don't feel the need to. One more to go. No! Please let us reach them in time. They really should have showed Kane moping in the corner over there. God damn it, man. Why can't I just get stronger? Well, I guess this would have happened after it, huh? I shall pray too as well, my son. I shall pray as well, my sons. Ew, your praying is all yellow. Ah, uh, what is it, Elder? The dragon, it's crying. And now I sound like Bane for some reason. I mean, I guess it kind of looks like a whale. A really messed up looking whale. Father. Kluya. I should probably go rescue your uh, stasis brothers and sisters, don't you think? Yeah, let's go rescue them. Now the whole standing there waiting for a yellow praying to come up. Kind of wastes a lot of time, don't you think? The last crystal has shattered. Quick, cut to it! Yes, yes, that's cutting out pen, yes. Okay, enhance. Very good. going on. There's no doubt about it. The crystals are gone. Now there's nothing left to hold him back any longer. Zero Mus. If we fail, both we Lurians and the Blue Planet have no hope left. 
you understand what needs to be done, Gobez. Of course. Of course! That we learned the double black magic band. And to get some kick-ass music. So we are up against Zero Mrs. Malice. The, well, almost final boss of Final Fantasy IV. Now really, you don't need to use the double band black magic. Because it it's not that it's bad, it's just... You can do more damage without it. We want to get slow on him so he doesn't do that. He will counter our magic. I think we're just going to taunt for now. So uh, Fusoya can get haste on both of us, as well as cure. Uh, let's do haste on him first. I am going to show off the band as well. Don't worry, I will use it, but... And I think after this, we will heal up, because those bios did hurt, and Sap is kind of eating away. There's the next bio. That could kill... Yep. <laughs> ah, well, what are you going to do, right? Probably... Okay. Let's ignore that, and uh, instead actually get a rise going for Golbez. There you go, buddy! There you go. Well, there's a black hole. That's gonna dispel slow. As well as haste. So let's just use double black magic. See what it has to offer. Oh, we got fire right off the bat. Alright. Three hits from that should work. Now there's the bio. That could hurt a little bit. I think you only need to cause about 30,000 damage. Which one is it? Another fire spell? Yeah, double meteor is actually pretty rare. Let's just get that another band going there. Oh, Blizzaga! Oh, there's the flare. On for Soya. He should live through it, though. Well, he did live through it. This should be the last one. There, yeah, there it is. I cannot be destroyed. Evil is evolution at its purest. It is time, Gobez. To the blue planet. Fusoya. We must go now and sleep. We will pray for the peace of your planet. Come, let us go. Yes. Cecil. Are you certain you want to part this way? He's your brother. Farewell. Cecil. Just gives him the finger right there. Just a little middle, middle finger comes up. Like, fuck you, dude. You killed my friends. Farewell, my brother. I look like Naruto! Thank you, brother. Is it weird that I turned into a little kid for some reason in this cutscene? 
Just think of it as a Star Wars special edition ending, and we'll just go with it. Filled with such, so much hatred. You have regained your true self, then. Do you remember your father's name? My father. His name was Kluya, the Kool Aid Man. Should add Pluto into the background. Ah, uh, more good music. Well, hello, Cecil and its parties. How's it going? Would you like a bio? I think you do. Yes, yes, I'll nail before me. Nail before Zod, all that, all that, yep. Uh, how about a Viagra? It's kind of like Viagra, but less painful. You don't actually need to do this. They'll cause minimum to no damage to you. <laughs> Good job, Rosa. Good job. You cast protect on only Cecil. Wow. Biased much, Rosa? <laughs> that is all the power you possess. A pity. Your eyes should still be free. Open them and gaze upon true terror. Come forth, creature of shadow. Could have really used that during your tale, Golbez. Couldn't summon a dragon any time to help us? No. You'll be next, Cecil. An Adolin. A shadow dragon destroyed by mere mist. It's alright. You can move now. Oh god, that voice! I actually like how they did this, even though they added Cecil Yang and Sid into it. Uh, Replaying these scenes from Golbez's points of view, it, it added a, a nice touch. Feeble old man, you are nothing before me. In fact, I am just gonna stand here and let you do what you do. Meteor's time has come at last. No, Tella, you mustn't. You'll be the one it destroys. So be it. Let my life fuel the spell that ends his. That, well, okay, the, the cinematic could have been a little better for Meteor. Im impossible. <laughs> I can tell it just topples over. Oh, and they played Golbez's music throughout the entire scene, too. Ah. Ah, fanboygasm. Why do you hesitate, Kane?
So you're Golbez. Cecil, I presume. Never hesitate to kill Cain. Now see how it's done. Cecil! I will not allow you to harm him. I did not come to treat with worms. Cain, enough of this foolishness. Bring me the crystal. My lord, we kind of sound similar because Kronos has a very limited range in voice. Cain, please! Rosa, no! That was opposite, Kronos. You shouldn't have said it like that. Oh, you care for this one, do you? Then let me take her along as well. Yoink! To hold and trust until we are graced with the chance to meet each other again. Come, Cain. It just kind of sounds weird, you know? The Luna Whirl in space. You must hate him, that brother of yours. What? what After all, he is the root of all you've suffered. Who's there? If it weren't for him, your mother and father would both still be alive. No, you're wrong. And you are a vile little insect, birthed from the womb of a dragon's corpse. Stop. Stop talking to me. Oh, Theodore, I know how it feels. They have meds for that, though. No, you're wrong. I'm... Where? Where am I? Gasp! Exclamation point! The moon! No, that's Earth. Hmm. That moon. Alright. I like the music here. It's a nice touch. Cecil. Thus concludes the Lunarian's tale. Ah, oh, I love that sound. Alright, now that Golbez's tale is actually over, we... Well, we should save this, obviously. There we go. Unlock the final tale, the Crystal's Tale. The Planet Eater is a title. So, like I was saying before, you want to get everyone up to level 30. In the case of having party members, which a lot of them do, you want to make sure all the bands are max leveled. Uh, I've actually taken the chance to do most of that already. I still have Edward and Porums to go, but as you can see, this is going to be my final level for Theodore and his crew. 
Edward still needs some work, Porum still needs to work, but I did just finish uh, Ed the other day. Ed? Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Dun, tsh, the dun, dun. Edge's team. Um, I actually ended up killing Edge off and then leveling his team separately because, well, it was just easier and more experience. Polum actually leveled up beyond 30 because uh, apparently their particle bomb takes a long time to max out. But yeah, everyone's level 30 and so forth. Actually, Riddy was already like pretty close to level 30. And don't worry about Seador's tail because all that stuff was in Kane's tail. So yeah, I got to do Edward and Porum's tail next. You don't have to worry about leveling up Golbez. Where is he? Uh, Golbez at all because, well, he's level 40 already. Uh, double black magic is something he's not going to have as a band going forward. Fusoya was a temporary party member, sadly. So strip him of all his gear. Uh, give the luminous robe to Golbez. I'm going to be doing that. So I suggest you two do it as well. Uh, sell pretty much everything except for like unique equipment and ethers and dry ethers, elixirs, remedies, etc, etc. All the important stuff. Adamant, I keep that. Uh, for all the other tails, I pretty much sold everything except for the unique equipment, the adamantite and lustful lolly hose and the tails. And pretty much in Kane's tail, I just bought all the resources, like I, all the high potions, all the antidotes, echo screens, high potions. And if they didn't have a status healing item, I bought it in another tail. So I suggest you get 99 of all of those and 99, uh, spider silks. Because, uh, we're going into the final tail. We'll be importing all of this data to there. So, that's going to be next time. Hopefully. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't expect Edward or Porum to level up that solely, but we'll, we will see. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like button below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you head over to my video section, check out some of my other content, and see if it's to your liking. Next time we start the Crystal's Tale. Hope to see you there. Have a great day.